Good morning and welcome to another episode of Music Monday. It's the third one and I'm really excited because we're going to be breaking down a track that was just released two days ago. I know what you guys are thinking. I said, I said that I would review your tracks and I still will. I will still review your tracks, but I'm not getting enough suggestions in. So that's why I've been waiting. So the more suggestions that I get over time will allow me to start dissecting these songs or albums that you want me to look at. But for the meantime, I'm gonna go over some shit that I wanna talk about. So today, without further ado, I'm going to be talking about the new single by J. Cole titled Interlude. And there's a space in between each letter of I-N-T-E-R, inter, L-U-D-E. That's how you spell interlude. So maybe a little bit of background. I don't know if I'm going to get this entirely right. I know J. Cole hasn't really... Let's go look, actually. Let's back up my... Uh, my knowledge here before I spread some false information. Let's look at the last time that J. Cole released an album, which was KOD, right? That was the last one, and that was 2018. I don't, you can't count the projects that he did with Dreamville as like a solo album because there's so many different artists on there. There was the Revenge of the Dreamers 3 director's cut. Yeah, there's so many artists on there. So we're counting. We're counting K.O.D. in 2018 as his last album. So it's been three years. That's a lengthy time. And um, people are excited, right? Like, as J. Cole, he's one of the more notorious rappers in the rap game. For Your Eyes Only, great project. K.O.D., I was a little eh, was a little iffy on there. Not saying it was a terrible album. But then you have 2014, Forest Hills Drive. Every time that he puts out like a solo project, like an independent album, he doesn't really, he doesn't do features, which is like, I mean, I respect him for it. He has gone like what, like double platinum, gold platinum off of no features, which is just crazy. And I admire him for that. He's like one of the only people that doesn't necessarily always bring in help from other artists. I mean, it's interesting no matter what to see what he's going to do next from the fact that he's been somewhat quiet and somewhat under the rug for a while now, and we haven't gotten a solo album from him, people are building up the hype. So let's dig into this interlude track because I I think it's gonna be really good. I have a good feeling about it. <sighs> All right. I couldn't pause it in between because it's only a two minute and 11 second song, and I mean, there's a reason for it, like interludes are usually not that long of tracks, so uh, yeah, my only complaint would be like, damn, I wanted more of that. I loved the instrumental, I loved the beat, I loved J. Cole's flows on it, and he was talking about a lot of different shit, you know, pertaining to the struggles that he's been through and how he's rose to the top a few times, but he's also seen very low lows and in those struggles and in that adversity, he found a way to appreciate life, uh, to build up that, that discipline as a person. As we all go through tough times in our life, we go through these seasons where, you know, we think we can't get out of it, but eventually we do. And we appreciate that struggle because I think it makes, um, you know, once you reach the top or the pinnacle or you get to a moment where you're satisfied or happy in life, you appreciate it more because you went through the struggle. But, you know, he's also talking about, I would say probably, you know, a lot of people that he knows that have died. He was talking about bodies stacking up in the streets. Um, and then there at the end, there was the line about uh, when Christ died at the age of 33 or something like that. And he said that Pimpsey and Nipsey also died at the same age. So that was kind of an interesting nod to those two. I didn't know, I didn't know much of Pimpsey and I didn't listen to a whole lot of Nipsey, but I mean, obviously the rap world was shocked when they left this earth. Um, yeah, it's a solid track. I mean, I really have absolutely no complaints about it. I just wish it was longer. I wish we could get more of 
something something more than the interlude. I don't know if he's going to drop another single because he's dropping an album on May fourteenth. So we we don't we don't know what's coming. But that's what I like about J Cole is there's always like a bit of a surprise element to who he is as an artist and. Um, he's probably doing it for a reason, you know, put out an interlude track as a single, not like one of the heavier tracks on the album, but it's a good fucking song. So it's just good. He's giving, he's giving us a little bit of a taste of maybe what's to come. I'm not like a diehard J. Cole fan, but you have to respect this man and everything he's done for the rap game and the rap community. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. I mean, there's only been... In my eyes, really one album this year so far that I was like really hyped for, and that was Brock Hampton's new project, New Light, New Machine, Roadrunner. Um, but this is probably up there as well with some exciting music that's about ready to be released. So I'm fucking pumped, man. I, I'm ready to hear some new J. Cole and to see where he, his head has been at for the last three years. Because he, he, he's mentioned in the Instagram post uh, for the album artwork, he said that just know that this has been years in the making. So it's not some shit that was overnight. Sure, he's taken some time off, but I'm I'm sure within those three years that he hasn't released an album, it's not that he was necessarily on a hiatus. He was still working, you know, and people are saying the same things about Kendrick. Like, what is he doing? That people think he's going to drop an album. Like, you got to imagine that Kendrick Lamar is always working. Like he's always plotting some shit. He's always got some shit that's cooking up in the lab. It's just like, all right, like I am one of the best in the game. We're going to perfect this shit and I'm not going to rush anything. You know, I'm not going to force anything out into the world. I'm going to wait. I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to simmer on it. I'm going to meditate on it. And once I have the finalized version, the perfect mold, the perfect concoction, then I'm going to release it to the world. So, yeah, it'd be amazing if we got a Kendrick Lamar project. But, hey, we're getting a J. Cole project, so you can't really complain. Anyways, that's my analysis. Check out the song. Let me know what you think. Again, please send in suggestions more and more. The more I have, the more I can start stacking them against each other to then, you know, do one each week. And then I'll have, you know, probably like a stockpile of them so I could make like four or five episodes. But... I've only gotten like maybe three suggestions from people. So, and originally, I think I had said in the first videos, I wanted people to vote on these suggestions that I get and then whichever one gets the most votes. But maybe that's not a good process to, you know, choose a song. So maybe I'll just, I'll just start reviewing the ones that you guys put in because I'm always willing to look for new music. So anyways, that's the video. J. Cole, new album, coming soon. Love you guys. See you on the next one. All right, bye-bye.